Hello guys, it's me, Athena. I wanted to share with you today some of the really amazing items I picked up yesterday at Spirit of Halloween, that little shop that pops up around the country um, around this time of year. This is my messy altar. Um, I usually work on this piece of slate, that's Cookie's nose, but because it's so covered, because it's so covered in wax droppings, <laughs> that sounds funny. Even after I try to scrape them off, I am going to put down this very tacky thing I picked up last year, probably at Target. It's a table runner. It's really a piece of crap. <laughs> the other side, I think the cat got, I don't know. That side's not usable, so we're going to use the back. This is not going to be the highest quality of recording. But you know what? We'll do what we can do. So I have very, very much been into the fake nail game for a while. I have only once in my entire life had it. a professional manicure. I'm not into that because it's too expensive and I don't feel like it. But I've been into false nails, specifically that Kiss brand that the Impress, they're the ones that you peel off the back. And then I found if you also put down a little bit of nail glue with a brush, it stays for about a week or so. Now, the ones I have on currently, and I hate how old my hands look, but I'm old. So the ones I currently have on were the super pointy ones. I don't love the super pointy ones, although I do very much love this these witchy patterns. I've already lost the, the shiny little gem. But... If you notice, my nail peeks out because these, my nails don't grow in that way. They were crazy pointy and I, I snipped off the edges because I don't want to hurt myself or my dog. <laughs> so these are some I bought a while back, but I wanted to show you the ones I picked up at the Spirit of Halloween place. They're not going to be as high quality, but wait till you see them. So this is the first one. And when I saw this, I lost my mind. I'll just say that for all of them. They look very tarot cards-ish, but they're not. It says, the moon made me do it. I think it's with the purple ones. They all say the same thing. The moon made me do it. It says press on nail chips. I have not opened them. I doubt they'll last, but, and also this is longer than I like because I type nearly daily and I can't type with long nails. I got two that are inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I adore. Some people are into Hocus Pocus. I'm into Nightmare Before Christmas. And I like these also because they're more blunt. They're shorter and they're more blunt on the end, which tends to fit me the best. And I like to mix and max, match. These are so cute. This one says, you are such a scream. I don't know that that is from the movie, but that's okay. Also, the, that skull doesn't look very canon for the movie. I don't care. It's good. By the way, these are $6 each, which is about on par with other fake nails that you can buy, in my experience. Usually, you can get them between 5 and $8, depending on how fancy they are. But aren't those cute? Um, I thought there were more, but I don't, I guess there's not. So I want to show you three other things I picked up. These earrings. Check these out. Pentagram. Sorry, actually pentacle earrings. I'll only be able to wear them probably when I go to my witchy meetup group. And maybe, I mean, this time of year, you can wear them wherever. I'm not going to work in them. <laughs> But I thought those were cute. Eight dollars, seven ninety nine. I like I like how they look. Here are some pentacle hair clips for ten dollars. This is more expensive. So two bobby pin styles and two clip styles. Very cute. I love them. Had to have them. This is adorable. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to put that on my car. But support witches. 
They probably market this as a joke, but for me, I'm like, yeah, not a joke. I love it. Five dollars. I might stick that on my car. I might not. People at my work have been kind of been finding out about me, so I don't know if I really want to rub it in right now, but then again, maybe I do. I don't know. I think it's a very cute, and I love magnets for cars. I don't put bumper stickers on my cars just because bumper stickers are, you know, a, a bitch to get off. So, um, there I lied when I said that was all of the nail nails because I found the very first ones I picked out. These are amazing. Also, long and pointy, similar to what I'm wearing, which means I would wear them on a long weekend or. Um, when I don't have to do work. I do have a nail, fake nail clipper, like clippers to trim off pointy edge ends, which I like to do when it doesn't mess up the pattern. But aren't those adorable? These are also $5.99 slash six bucks. I love these. Love, love, love these. Won't wear these to work though. All right, well, while we're here, I'm going to just show you my other witchy nails. I'm from Spirit of Halloween, but since this has turned into a fake nail video, uh, I wanted to show you. My friend gave me four sets of nails, and this was one, which they're super cool. Glow in the dark. It is funny when you catch yourself glowing in the dark. You're just like, ooh. Long and pointy. They will need to be trimmed. In this box, oh, do you see this? Do you love this? I love this. Now there are a couple Christmas ones tucked at the bottom, but holy mackerel. So I bought this one forever ago. It's not particularly witchy. I actually remember thinking it, it was Games of Thrones-ish. I don't know if I'll ever wear these, but I thought they were cool. These are some I've already used. Again, also I mixed and matched all of these. I think all of these came from my friend for my birthday can't really remember maybe not that one doesn't matter so what I normally do is when I mix and match I used from this one some of the candy corn ones there these are longer whereas these are both short and I have found I can handle having longer ones usually on my ring fingers or even my middle fingers I don't mind if those are my hands look so old that's fine I'm 50 but anyway, um, I can handle ever having longer ones on my ring fingers, but when I have them on my pointy fingers, which do most of the work around here, um, I can't stand them. I pop them right off. But anyway, these are really cute. They all glow. I love them. I will tell you, I bought the, well, my friend bought them for me. I'm not sure if she ordered them or found them somewhere but most of mine I got online these are some these are from last year I have a video where I was wearing these I adore these graveyard ones I think they're insanely awesome this is one I bought last year and never used it's like if you want to have witchy spring nails because that's such an Easter kind of color but spider webs on there and supposedly they glow in the dark Limited edition, they were just last year. These uh, my friend gave me. These are more of those long ones, so I haven't used these yet. These, again, I might use these after Halloween is over, so I can still get witchy, but it doesn't have to be. I don't want to sacrifice the ones that look super Halloweenish. I gotta wear my Halloweenish ones while I can, but the ones I'm wearing right now came from here. This is not the correct container. That's one of the old containers, but this is what I got on right now, which I do so adore. I bought these last year. I have never used them. They don't look particularly Halloween to me, but they are uh, limited edition. I guess they're not technically Halloween. I don't know, but, but aren't they pretty? They're long, so I haven't used them. Uh, long for me. I think even the long ones, I only get medium. I, I've never gotten actual long ones, I don't think. I can't handle them. They're just too cumbersome. They get in the way. I don't know how people handle that. I think I've shown you all of them. I didn't show you these, not specifically. I love these. I'm saving these for probably the last week before Halloween. They're 
so cute and so just adorable. Love them. But I'm having fun. It's just the little things that are fun to play with and be kind of exciting. I think I'll take these out. Oh, while I'm down here, I'll show you my Christmassy ones. I think I bought these at Walmart a year ago during summer um, at Myrtle Beach. But at the time, Walmart had some stuff and I cleared them out. I think they're adorable. Okay. I'm going to replace this one in here and keep this one out since it's not specifically a holiday type of thing. Anyway, that's it for now. And thanks for watching. What are some of your favorite little cheap, fun things that are suddenly available now that our high holy season is here? Hmm. Okay. Again, thanks for being here and take care of you. Peace.